I'm pretty good at improvising, so I think that's what I'm finna do. Hello, this is Jay from the VibeNet podcast. Today, we're gonna kind of like break down what's going on with the whole VibeNet thing, slash, you know, Spotify web or whatever. Um, you know, I didn't really ever think I was finna be in this position. And now that I'm sitting here, in this studio just chilling it's all kind of hitting me i started spotify web as um my junior project for my shop class and it was supposed to be a way of connecting people with local artists and with you know good music in general I always saw people like, hey, you should listen to this song, hey, you should listen to this song, but people didn't really, like, understand the fact that I feel like music is such a personal thing, and when you're sitting there, you're kind of in your own little world, scrolling through the internet, listening to what you want to listen to, I feel like that's one of the most empowering and, like, safe feelings in the world. I saw that there was like a genuine disconnect between people and the music community. I always grew up around, you know, people like always making music or like, you know, those were like the popping people to be around. And when I got to high school, everybody was making music, you know. You got people like Asani and Ark Zeus, (laughs) Zeusy, and um, you know, Chris Sway and Keith and all them, you know, MDN taking over the world or whatever you know and just more and more everybody started to love music like music is a way of like bonding with each other and that's something beautiful to me and as somebody I make a little bit of music uh, I used to mess around you know and I've been working on this album for a year and a half and it hit me I was like nobody really like shows positivity in this community anymore And I'm somebody who's all about positivity. So I just got it popping one day, you know? He was just like, hey, I'm going to write this article. I wrote an article on Snot, you know? He turned out, he read the article, loved it, and retweeted it. I took that as a sign. I was like, dope, you know? I wrote another article on Jazz Ingram, which is another up-and-coming artist, just released his, um, his brand new debut album. And Homeboy was really just... You know, he was appreciative. And then I wrote an, an, my first, like, official, like, local article on Ark Zeus. And Zeus, he loved it, you know. He shouted it out, really promoted the dream, you know. And that's just, that's something great to me. Because Zeus, he, I sat there and I listened to Spirit Bomb when I first heard it, before anybody else heard it. I was listening to Soul before it got released. I was listening to all that. I was like, this is really going to take over the world, like, Music is going to take over the world, especially in the 617. You know, like, it's so inspiring. And now I'm sitting here and I'm, like, 20 plus articles deep. And each one's been a hit, you know? Really just growing. I really want to go places with this, you know? I'm reaching out to artists after artists. I have 40 articles on the way. 40 from local artists that's insane from everybody and we really we're gonna take over the world with this for sure for sure honestly like you know like I sit there and I write these articles all by myself founder CEO head journalist I have my little marketing team or whatever, my little ideas team. I have some, my big sister's doing my branding. Shout out Ruby Gonzalez. Um, but, you know, this is really, this is really kind of what I want to do. And, you know, I really want to work with artists, spreading positivity, because that's the dream, you know? Actually spreading, spreading positivity, because, There isn't enough of it. Every single artist I've gotten in contact with, and that's 
that's been like the main theme like yo there ain't enough positivity and what you're doing is really great every single time you know that's a sign we all just gotta we gotta do what we need to do to really you know get this community going in the direction that it needs to be going in and for me right now that's doing this podcast doing these video shoots that are coming up doing these photo shoots really doing articles every single day i write an article every single day i've been doing it for over two weeks now every single day and i upload it at 8 p.m 8 p.m every single day <laughs> on at spotify.web right now we're going to be changing it to vibenet pretty soon august 1st we're rebranding to vibenet bi-weekly podcast with a new artist first artist up should be Kito Wavy you know shout out Kito really been a big supporter of the dream you know that was like the one of the first big big articles that ended up blowing up and Kito reached out to me he was like man I love what you're doing I was like yeah we finna we finna do numbers for sure and you know I love this this community once you get into it it's all love nothing but love and that's just the dream you know second artist up should be Ark Zeus after that should be um lyrics by Eva who just got on the whole uh we'll do it ourselves <laughs> you know album or whatever which has like so many artists coming together from the 617 to create something beautiful um so that should be dope uh you know i definitely want to have people like big promoters like alexander Patton and uh you know <laughs> mr takeover aj you know take over the brand the label for sure you know i really i really love what we're about to do I know I got a lot of people that are riding against me and just saying, nah, you're not going to make it. Nah, you're not going to make it. You're always going to have haters, guys, for real. For real. And the people that rock with me, rock with me. So it is what it is, you know. I'm out here doing what I need to do, trying to help people's careers, trying to actually make an impact because that's the goal for sure, making an impact. And that's what we finna do, so... I mean, I'm kind of just sitting here alone in my little studio, in this little studio. Shout out to Podcast Garage. <laughs> Definitely going to be using this place every other Friday for sure. This is this is a nice place to be. So, you know, I'm trying to look for a co-host right now because hey, it's a lot of talking to do. But I'm definitely going to do numbers with this for sure you know i want to shout out you know kira at kira arts kira.arts on instagram for coming up with the idea to do this podcast she's been doing a lot of the marketing schemes for a lot of this and <laughs> she deserves way more than what she's getting right now for sure deserves way more i mean if you look at what she's doing she's another great artist go go and check her out for sure Looking at the art that she's done, her her drawings are immaculate, absolutely beautiful. Um, definitely just did a we did a article on her and that blew up, so that was nice. And you know, she was like the first official member of Team Vibenet, like an official member. I'm telling you, you're gonna see her work, and literally, you're going to see her work in a museum in August, and. You know, that's, that's going to be crazy. All of this is just... This is crazy to do. I'm just one person right now. Just one person. What a dream. Shout out to All-Star Evans, Evans Blom. You know, he really... He really believes in the idea of individuality and pursuing your dreams no matter how big they are. Yeah, it's, it's a cliche, but... 
everybody in this community knows how important that is. Like, there should be nothing in your way stopping you for what you want to do. Pursuit of happiness. You have the right to do what you want to do, you know? And I believe that you should seize that for sure. Whether that's making music, drawing, modeling, taking a certain career path. For me right now, it's doing this, doing this podcast, doing these video shoots, you know, doing the articles, showing love to the community, because that's what it's about, guys, for sure. We want to breathe nothing but positivity into this atmosphere. (laughs) And we're going to have so many people along for the ride. It's going to be crazy. And honestly... Like, you gotta be on the lookout for this. Every single day, 8 p.m. on at Spotify.web on Instagram. And at web Spotify on Twitter. Definitely be on the lookout for those. We're doing our first picture shoot, you know, photo shoot with um, at Flix by underscore Eddie. You know, Eddie O. And Eddie O really really believes in the vision you know reached out to us wanted to do a shoot we're gonna do that shoot today as we're recording this right afterwards and that should be that should be popping um you know i want to really thank the people that made a lot of this possible people like all-star evans and keto wavy arc zeus t clips you know clips believed in the dreams you know Eddie O and just everybody who was a part of the dream came right on. We're definitely looking for you guys to like reach out. And I want people to really reach out and be a part of this. Because being a part of this is gonna be really important, guys. I mean, if you're any sort of artist, anything, you know, photographers, you make music, you you produce, you you're an engineer, a DJ, you you, you model, you, any of that. I want to definitely cover everybody in the scene, guys, for sure. Every single person in the scene. That's the goal. We're going we to take over Boston. And we're going to put Boston on the map. You know, and that's my promise to you guys, for sure. We're going to do this every single day. So, definitely be on the lookout for that. We want to know what you guys wanted to see from us. Whether that be, you know, photo shoots and videos on YouTube, podcasts and all that. More articles. What articles do you want to see? Do you want to see like interviews with artists? Do you want to see, do you want to see anything along those lines? Do you want to see us cover events? Do you want to see, you know, us try and like produce something in the scene, produce some sort of album or ep or something like that with everybody on the scene on it you know we would love to do that for sure because we could definitely throw something together the thing about boston is boston is such an eclectic place with everybody has like this positive attitude people in the scene who are dedicated to the scene have a positive attitude towards it they just want to work they want to they want to build they want to they want to blow up they want to do things we want to do big things with other artists for sure and like when you look at it like even look at like spirit bomb right look at spirit bomb as an album when you look at spirit bomb that man has 15 features bow and red youp of 2000 he has everybody from the scene on the album everybody that he like he messes with everybody is on that album and that's beautiful to me you know like something about that unification of the scene is so beautiful like doing what you need to do as an artist and then together as a group like that's beautiful mission statement you know featuring Yupa 2000 by Volan Red you got soul you got <laughs> hey Zussie, you know all that like that album is beautiful and honestly it's a real inspiration to a lot of us people who really respect like that like i want to do something like that you got big like he really did it like he did like the whole dreamville thing before dreamville did the dreamville thing like with new dreamville albums like everybody was like in the studio like hey hop on this hop on this hop on this like zussi did it and he was like 
you know i want to do this and he did it and it came out great spirit bomb his first pop album is beautiful you know it's beautiful we'd love to do something like that so if you if you want you know to be a part of that or want to see that from us we would love to hear from you guys whether that be on social media you know email us ag spotify web at gmail.com just email us and we'll definitely get it popping for sure so there's that i just want to thank a lot of people who were a part of this you know i mean this wouldn't be possible at all without artists across the world really like across the world like there's certain artists i talk to and Brazil and, and France and Germany, England that that are people that I know and they don't have something like this over there for the most part at least what I'm trying to do they don't really have it over there and you know it's sad to say but I feel like that needs to change and I think the, where it needs to change is right here right here at home in 617 and that's what we're gonna do for sure i mean everything that we've ever done so far has been about positivity and that's the only way that we're gonna be moving we're gonna move in a direction of positivity you're not gonna hear a single negative comment at all in any of our articles we refuse to let that happen because there's something so beautiful about adding positivity to the community you know, like putting smiles on everyone's faces, you know, giving people a spotlight, people like, you know, Russell Red and Lyndon Vo, like that duo right there, that duo is amazing. Vo and Red, are you kidding me? Russell Red started Urban Streetwear. Black, so be sure to support black owned business, guys, because urban streetwear urban streetwear is fire that new military collection i mean it's insane and you got you know Lyndon vo like they 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 vo and red have been together since since like since the playgrounds real real talk and that's crazy like there's actual like unification in this community i don't care what anybody says no matter there are a lot of people in this community who are definitely negative, but the people who are positive outweigh all of those negative people. You know, that's a that's the common consensus. I mean, I feel like there's definitely more things on the way. Like where we're at is beautiful right now. Where we're at is definitely beautiful, but the direction in which we can head, that's limitless, you know? Like, like this is just a start this is just the start i've talked to so many of your guys's favorite artists that are from boston and there are so many great things on the way so many projects eps singles collaborations it's it's insane guys i just want you guys to definitely be on the lookout for all of that all of that's going to be beautiful you know like you guys don't even understand. <sighs> it's crazy. You know, King from 98 dropped music. I mean, talked about dropped music on the live stream. And that's, another, that's another thing we're going to do, guys. Is We're going to live stream. Hopefully, we're going to live stream all of the articles as we're writing them. We're going to live stream... Hopefully at some point we're going to live stream these uh, podcast sessions. We're going to live stream all that on YouTube. Um, we're definitely going to do numbers for sure. And, you know, uh, hopefully the goal right now, I've had this dream for a minute now, is to have one show, one show, like an actual show. Anybody can come to it. And it's everybody from the scene that wants to be a part of it can come be a part of it they do their set they leave you know they and that's if that's that would be beautiful they should just do a show or even like throw like a kickback and like have 
have like some 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 chill vibes and you know like have everybody pop out like tyler loyal and mdn and you know vo and red and youp of 2000 and you know young Seuss and all of them everybody pop out to a show butter like all that like that that's the dream like to actually have like a safe environment where everybody can feel as though they belong and everybody can feel as though you know they can be a part of something that's so great and support artists that you know have the same ideologies and goals as them that's that's definitely the dream and you know doing these podcasts and these articles is is the way that we're going to get there um we definitely just it's it's crazy and it's only going to get crazier you know we're gonna i have so many collaborations with artists coming up you know vibe net x whatever artists you know it's we're gonna we're gonna take over the 617 for sure and i know you guys just aren't ready for this you aren't we have collaborations coming out with the following artists showtime ocho nancia music <laughs> young sass our eddie o -R, you know eddie o and triple six deep all-star evans guap the guru iso two times dmo crash out Keto Wavy, Ark Zeus, A Bossy, Live Famous Wells, Russell Red, Kyle Davis, J Smooth, Zach B, YN Prop, Lyrics by Eva, Lavish Lou, Reef Energy, Red Shades, GI's Music, Mig Sola, John Glass, Aza the Messenger, Money Mav, you know, Money Mav is, uh, that's definitely gonna be a, a nice collaboration. Money Mav is the uh, uh, personality on Chairman 94.5. We definitely want that to be uh, a big collaboration with him for sure. You know, STLN, real the real radar. It's Dizzy. You know, Dizzy Dizzy is doing numbers. His latest release is crazy right now, and you know he's got something coming out with DMO Crash Out. So definitely be on the lookout for that. You know, we got Gabe in there, Chris Way, Fitbull. <laughs> you got everybody, Jordan Taylor, just everyone. Hello Sensei, King from 98, C4 the Artist, Dark Knight, My Compiled Thoughts, Joss Mood, the Lorencia. Lorencia is, that's gonna be a, a nice, nice collaboration for sure. K Hoodie. Zeki, Jolico, Akeem, and Shandell, and Young Seuss, and all that. We got a lot of things on the way, guys. A lot of things on the way. And honestly, be on the lookout for those with our website, YouTube, SoundCloud, Instagram, and Twitter. All those links will be in the description for sure. Um, I just definitely want you guys to really be a part of this because this is going to be a journey for sure and we're not going to stop we have no reason to there's been nothing but support for this nothing but support and i really really appreciate it because if y'all support this we're going to keep it going and each and every artist i haven't had a negative interaction with a single artist I have 40 plus articles on the way, all from the 617. I've talked to all these artists and they're excited. And you guys got to understand that it's, it's, we're going to do numbers and you know, this is going to be the humble beginning. Like people are going to look back on this. I'm calling it now. People are going to look back on this and be like, that's crazy. That's the first vibe net podcast. That's the first one. I'm recording it right now. Like, we're making history recording this. I know you guys probably think this is crazy, but... <laughs> if you could look through the conversations that we've had with artists... Trust me, guys. Be excited. There's great things on the way. 
Every single day, 8 p.m., articles being uploaded. Every single day. So definitely be on the lookout for that. Every other week, in a rotating fashion, we're going to have podcast and video interviews. Our first video interview is going to be with my compiled thoughts, who is an amazing, amazing, amazing artist to collaborate with. And I'm really thankful for a lot of the opportunities that these artists have afforded me. You know, it wouldn't, I wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't for the support. And the fact that I have, you know, a lot of the biggest artists in the Boston scene behind me looking forward to all these articles looking forward to collaborations looking forward to to building as a community i'm so excited to bring all this content to you guys i really am because there is a lack of this in the community a genuine lack of positivity and and spreading love and shouting people out like paying dues paying homage to everybody if there was a lack of that like people would bite and be like, hey, I'm going to steal his style. I'm going to steal his cadence. I'm going to steal his flow. I'm going to steal his type of lyrics. I'm going to steal his beats. And I'm going to slap it all together. And I'm going to be an industry baby. Just a straight up industry baby. That's not what this is about. Every single artist I've covered has been unique. Just like genuinely talented people. And there's such a lack of coverage of genuinely talented people. And that's sad to me. That's genuinely sad to me because we deserve more than this as a community we deserve more than this and there will be more than this there will be simple as that the things that we have coming on the way are monumental monumental like <laughs> you don't understand this is gonna blow up and I'm calling it now <laughs> we're gonna do great things guys for sure and this is going to be the start of it all. So be sure to go and support all the artists that I shouted out. And all the artists I shout out on Instagram. Everybody. Because, you know, showing love in this community is exactly what this is about. Do nothing but show love, guys. Because there's not enough of it. You know, the photo shoot we're doing today. This is going to be the first official VibeNet photo shoot. And that's crazy to me. Like, we're really going to do big things. And that's just crazy. <laughs>